This is Code.org. I'm working on CS Principles, Unit 5, Building Apps, Lesson 8, Boolean Expressions and If Statements, Part 9. You try it. Text, text password checker. Key idea. You can use the double equal sign, which is the equality operator, to compare strings as well as numbers. Let's use an if statement in order to handle and in an event handler to compare text that a user inputs in a UI element. Sounds like a lot of technical stuff. I'll walk you through it. We'll be fine. The setup. Notice the Note the setup and design. There are two images, a red lock and a green unlock. The green unlock is hidden at the start. Do this. Add an if statement to an event handler to check the password and display the unlock only if the password is correct. You can get the double equals to compare text you get from password input. Oh, you can use double uh, the quality operator to compare the text you get from the password input text box and a string you want to use as a password. The boolean expression you should use you should you you should use should look like this. Get text password input. Okay, got it. So we need an event handler. Let's make sure there aren't any login button unlock image. Okay. So we just need to add the if in our control. So here's our event handler. So when they click login, we want an if statement. We're going to show unlock. Yeah, so show unlock. And then we want to check what they enter. So we are going to, got it. Use our comparison operator and check if the text they entered, what's the idea of this? Password, right? So this is password. So we're going to ask the computer to grab the text from the password input box. Okay. The password input box, grab that text. So that'd be the stuff they write when the user clicks the log in. So when the user clicks login, we're going to hide the lock. Nope, let's do all of that in there. When the user clicks login, we want the computer to grab the text they entered and compare it to whatever password we want. My password is going to be coding. <laughs> End quotes. And so this is going to be a string, right? It's going to be a text input, and then we're going to compare it to this string. If they are equal, we'll drop down to our if statement, we'll hide the lock, and we'll show the other lock. And if they're not equal, it will skip this code and just leave the screen as is. Let's give it a shot. I'm going to type it in. Coding. But da All right. Now let's reset it and just make sure. Run. Hello. And it doesn't do a thing because it's still locked. Awesome. Cool. But da Great. Let's uh, keep going.